Here we go, here we go, here we go with another video on Gran Turismo. GPA's here. Today we're going into sport mode. We are going to qualify for the new weekly daily races. The weekly daily races. There are three races to choose from. Suzuka, Spa, or Suzuka. Well, I'm going to go in for race B. Spa. Group 4 cars. Racing cards. And, uh... So, process I normally follow before I uh, qualify is I will go in to the ranking see what's going on in the world wow it's obviously the McLaren 650s is the car that all the fastest drivers are using so that is the car that I am going to be driving I've already loaded that car up the 650s um, I drove for McLaren in the nation's cup so I'm familiar with that car fastest time in the world is a 227 246 227246. I always like to try to get into the top 1000. Pretty big feat for a B level driver like myself. So let's go see what the top, what I got to get to be in the top 1000. So need to be in the low 230s to be in the top 1000 what do I need to be in the top 1500 so you need a 235 to a low 230 to be in the top 1500 top thousand but we would like to go for the top thousand so we're going to need a 230.1 to get into the top thousand. The other thing I like to do is I like to take the fastest driver who has got a replay to watch and this is this driver who obviously I can't pronounce his name it is Japanese and I won't even attempt to but he has a 26 uh, 227 4 so let's go in and see we're gonna play his replay and see exactly what he does and then we'll see how close we can can come to emulating something like that now as you all know I am on a ps4 so it does take some time uh, for things to load up, but that's okay. I have some time. I also have a T150 as a driving wheel. And um, I have a lot of fun on this game. And so can you. You don't need a lot of fancy gear. You don't need a lot of expensive gear. You can do this on a PS4. You can do this with a T150. Um, I do have a upgraded pedal set, um, which I think is almost as important as the wheel, if not more important. So let's go in and uh, check out the replay of the second fastest driver. Okay, so we're going to play replay. And I'm just going to pause it pause it and then go into the replay options so that we can display all of the driver info which is important as we watch the lap to know exactly what the driver is doing hit play we are going to go down he's in second gear coming out of that corner third fourth as he comes down to the first corner 
Now, it's best to put it in the chase cam as well, which is right there, so we can see where he is braking, and he's braking. Should back it up a little bit to see exactly where he brakes, okay? So, we're going to try to pause this exactly uh, at the point of where he brakes. So, it's around the 100 yard marker that we're going to see his brakes on. So he's just starting to brake at the 100 yard marker. Comes all the way down to first, then into second, accelerates out of that corner in second, quickly into third, fourth, short shift this car. He's into sixth gear already. He's all flat through here, lines the car up, no lift. So he's flat all the way down this straight, coming up to the next braking point. Now he's going to brake just past the 100 yard marker. So here's the 100 yard marker and then that curb there. That's where he is going to start to apply the brakes. He gets it tight around here in third, touch of the brakes there. Pulls it over to the left, fourth gear for around this corner. Then he's going to come down here and he's going to hit the brake somewhere around the top of this curb. So, as we can see, he's on the brakes, he's applying the brakes, he's in fourth gear, down to third, into second, rotate around the corner out in third, he lifts here in fourth, down into third, just to get around the corner, then back up into fourth. Interesting. He's in fifth. So he's coming up to the next breaking point here, which is going to be around the 50 yard marker. He's going to break. So he is just starting to break. He's still in sixth gear here. Breaking down into fourth quickly up into fifth, flat on the accelerator around this corner, all the way down here, again, coming up to the next breaking point, which we're going to find is just coming up to this 50 yard marker. So as we come, he applies the brakes, down into second gear, up into third quickly, fourth gear out of that corner, coming down into here, Again, starting to apply the brakes just before this curve here in fourth gear. Down to third, third gear accelerating out of this corner. Slight lift, no, not a lift, just goes right into fifth gear. Quickly into sixth, flat. Now this corner, will he take flat up here or does he lift? into seventh slight lift before he goes around that corner now we're coming up to the next braking point we're going to find that he's going to break we look for his brake lights to go on here we will see just past the 150 as he's coming up to the 100 yard marker he starts to apply the brakes he's in sixth gear still all the way down to first gear as fast as he can, back up into second to come around this corner, easy on the throttle, second, third, quickly, fourth, no, nope. rides third right to the line. Uh, so, let's see if we can go and um, do something like that. Obviously that guy is one of the best drivers. Uh, we can't expect to be that good. So we are going to set our sights, as I say, on the top 1,000. And that is going to require a 230.1. So let's go see if we can do that. Let's go in. Race B. 
we've got the car we want. We have to make sure we have hard tires on, which is the requirement of this race. Is there any other setups? There are no more adjustments that we can make to the car. So we are at the mercy of the setup. So we're going to go into qualifying time trial. And this just allows us to do a time trial without having to worry about entering the race. We're going to go in. So the next step I like to do here is I like to go and load the ghost of the driver we just watched. And then we're going to start this. I know this track fairly well, so in this car I've driven a lot. So I'm feeling very confident that I can get in the top 1,000 as a B-rated driver. I think that would be an amazing accomplishment. Okay, so here we go, here we go, here we go. Went down to second, down into first, and up into second. On the throttle here. Now we're quick shifting all the way through. Now we should see the ghost. He's got a much better drive out of there. We want to be in second and accelerating into this corner. Wow. See how much better that guy is out of that corner than us. So we have to stay flat through here. Hmm. Okay. Well, I really had to crank the steering wheel there to get it through, but it looks like I got through without a penalty. Okay, I'm waiting for my next braking point, which is going to be just where the pull over into the third. Oh, get tight. Touch of the brakes to get around here. Over into fourth. Through this corner. Ghost is really starting to pull away now. Down into second. Oh, I missed the apex of this turn. I, I really don't expect that I'm going to get. Now he went down into third and then back up fourth here. we got to stay on this side of that white line. You get a penalty. He went down into fourth here, got around the corner, and then back up into fifth and then flat. He's long gone. But as I was saying, I wouldn't expect to get in the 230s my first lap out. Okay. He's getting away. Come out to fourth. Down into third to get around this corner. Celery out in third. Into fourth. Flat through here. Fifth. Oh, oh. Wow. Okay. That's not good. Saved it nicely there, though. I would... Uh, tried to go flat through there, uh, it's going to be hard. Now he lifted slightly through here to get around the corner. And uh, we're going to have to try. So, down in first, up in the second. Around the corner, get on the throttle easy. Quickly into third, fourth. You should see the ghost. Right. Braking down into first, rotate second on the throttle. Whoa, rear end wants that kick out there. And it ever. I held on to it, but um, lost a lot of time because of it. Okay, we're going to try to get this flat again, get over a little bit more. Whoa, whoa. Oh, no, wow. That car is just all over the place in the hards. And as you can see, I've lost a lot of time. Didn't get a penalty there somehow. Okay, let's hit our breaking point here. It'll take us a few laps to get in there. And fourth, 
feel like I made a, there we go, picking up time. So I can get better through there. Second, tight around this corner, hit the apex, out in third. Fourth, third, oh, and I missed, uh, I didn't hit that corner very well, and lost a lot of time. All right. So we're gonna break at the 50, at the fourth, Get around the corner, back up in fifth on the accelerator. The car really wants to slide out. Break down into third. Back up into fourth. Third. Fourth. Play with the accelerator a little bit here. Uh, the throttle and gearing. Okay, let's see if we can make it through here without wiping out this time. Fifth. Okay. It's a little bit better. And if we can just get the rest of the lap right, maybe we'll uh, get ourselves close to the 230. I got a long way to go. Slight lift. Car settled. Back onto the accelerator. Just past the 150. Brake hard all the way down. First gear up in the second. Tight here. Oh, I missed the apex there. All right. So what's that? South. 233. I'm going to find two seconds. All right. That was a better exit. Oh, wow. I went right from 4th to 5th there, and uh, maybe that'll pay off in the end. Okay, now let's see. Just get on here. Okay, much, much, much nicer through there. I feel like I'm right on the ghost. I almost picked up half a second. Into 7th. Break down into 3rd. Touch of the brake around this corner. Fourth. Nice. Brake down into second. Get around this corner. Third gear. Fourth. Back into third. Fourth. All right. We got a good exit. See if I can do better through here. Oh, I definitely had to lift or I was going off the track there, but picked up a bit of time. Tight on this corner. Tight on this corner. The fourth. Break. Third. Hit this apex. Stay in third. Fourth. Fifth. Well. Gotta find a second somewhere. Felt a little nicer through there. I don't think I can make up the second in this corner, can I? Wow, they're ever losing a lot of time through there. Well, it's two tenths. So I need a second. some time on my 32 flat, but I need a second, not a tenth. Break hard there. 
try to turn the brakes so the car rotates over the left, down into fourth to allow you to get around that corner. Just tight on the apex, third gear out, fourth, lift, oh no, 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 oh, uh, that's, that's a blown lap and a penalty. No penalty. That surprises me. Not for sure that would be a penalty. Well, I've lost a well, good second and a half. That was definitely a bit of comedy, a bit of tragedy. I don't know if I got a second in me. I got half a second though. So I could be in the top 1500, but oh my god. Am I going to find a second? Okay, well. Uh, I never say never, but. Alright, so. We went into seventh here. Slight lift. Alright. Break just after the 150. Down hard to one year. Wow. All right, tight. All right. Let's see if we can improve. A stellar exit. Right. He used to stay flat. Oh, I really had to turn the wheels hard there, so scrubbed off a lot of speed. Losing time down the stretch doesn't take much. Let's see if I go into seven. No, lose time. Dropping into seventh there. Hard on the brakes. Down on the third. Touch to get the car around there. Alright, so it's interesting that you can just stay pretty much flat all the way through that corner there if you set that turn up right. Okay, that's better. See if I can get this corner right. Okay. Oh my, 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 my. Had to lift there. As you can hear, tires were losing their ability to hold the road. Picking up some time through here. This corner here is super important, and I miss the apex most times I go through there. So flat, using the gears a little bit, but here I am now losing time down the stretch. It's such an important corner to a good lap time. So I'm going to the seventh here. Ever so slight lift. Ooh, nice. I don't know if I can do that corner much better. Down into first. Second. Tight on this corner. Ease out. Alright, well, a little bit better time. I'm in the 131s anyway. I know it looks like I get ahead of the ghost there, but as you can see, he comes out of there flying, and I'm just wondering what the heck to do, and he just flies by me. Well, you really have to be on the accelerator before that corner. You can't come around and out of that corner and then hit the accelerator. You have to be on the accelerator before you come out of that turn. I'm going to stay in sixth here. 
hard on the brakes right after the 100 yard meter. Down into third, tight on this corner. Now this is the one I'm talking about, so just stay flat, fourth gear, turn and trust that the car's gonna go around. Oh, it went around all right. Oh, Lord. All right, well, I tried to trust. So I'm into the 21s, 21.9. I need half a second to be in the top 1500. And I need, uh, well, eight tenths to uh, get in the top 1000, which is my goal, top 1000. All right, so let's see if we can get this corner a little bit better. Okay, I feel like I'm accelerating a little bit better out of there. Yep, all right. So, gaining time all the way up the stretch. So, if we get it to seventh before we go around this corner, it seems to be a little bit easier to get around without the tires wanting to slip out and push you right off the track. Okay, second gear there. Okay, this is our lap. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Break a little bit earlier here. Now accelerate from here. Still not as good as I've done. And nowhere near as good as the ghost. See that black line there? Oh no, that's five seconds right there. Or five seconds, half a second. Point five. Might as well be five seconds. So now it's just practice. Oh wow. See if you just you just can't or I can't. I don't have the skill quite to hold it down, but you know, eighty percent throttle. See I'm wondering, I tried to go to fourth there and that is cumbersome, but in time that's my best time so and you guys see my delta in the middle of the screen there that's what I'm looking at to know if I've done the corner if the arrow is up and blue I know I'm doing a little bit better if the arrow is red and down I know that I'm doing worse so I'm just really trying to see if where I can gain some time what gear I need to be in because this lap is blown because of my penalty. Now this is an important corner here, so can I just, oh yeah, flat all the way through there. You gotta be really tight, but look at the time I'm picking up. And look at the time I'm losing. So, that's pretty harsh place for a penalty line. Okay, we're gonna see if we can't get it this lap. All right, let's set up a nice exit out of here. So let's bring it around and on the accelerator. There we go. Okay. Got a much better brake get earlier. Get the car turned. Second gear and on the accelerator. Oh, darn. because I'm so clumsy, <laughs> I went into third. Uh, 
I think I had it there on two and well oh well I didn't get a penalty there but it's not as fast as I could be through there it's going to be hard to match my best time I'm this far behind already but that doesn't mean you don't try A lot of times you end up starting to overdrive, trying to catch up. See, I really do think I want to be in fourth there because I just lost two tenths. Can't be losing two tenths on this uh, track. So I'm already hmm, almost a full second behind my best time. to back out there. Okay. This isn't the lap. Where are we coming up to? This is going to be our ninth lap coming up. We'll give her ten laps. See where we are. 2.31.9 is my best time so far. Completely missed my braking. There. Oh my goodness gracious. But that doesn't matter. It's this exit I get out of here that's most important. Well, I didn't lose that much time. Ah. Missed the apex. Missed my accelerating point after I miss my breaking point. Just an all-round miss. A little bit better speed through there. Brake hard down into third. Tight. Touch the brakes. Full throttle through here into fourth. Trust the car is going to come around. Oh, I had to lift. I couldn't go flat. Oh, what a cow's ear I made of that turn. Oh, and I got a five second penalty for my troubles. Oh, lordy, 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 <sighs> Okay, well, so much for the ninth lap being the best lap. Can it be my tenth and final lap? Of course, I'm going to slow down coming up to the penalty line. Still gives me a chance to practice this turn. I got to be really tight through there, and uh, yeah, slowing down again. All right, tenth and final lap, folks. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Okay, set myself up here. Make sure I hit my braking points. Second gear. Okay, got a nice exit out of there. Okay. Right after 100. Down into 
first rotate the car, second on the accelerator. Okay. Wasn't my best, but it wasn't horrible. See if I can maintain a nice speed through here. Oh yeah, that felt really good. Was able to keep my tires straight and um, yeah, carrying a lot more speed. So we're going to try not to overdrive this lap. It is my last lap. I am ahead of my Delta. a little bit more. I'm braking a little bit earlier there too because I just found I was going a little bit too deep through there. Alright, so I did the third and out and fourth. Seemed to be a little bit quicker. Oh, wow, wow, wow. What a tank slapper that was. I, uh, well, I don't even know how I held on to that. Why does it feel like the ghost is in this far away? But I'm yet two tenths behind. All right. So I got a good run out of there. Need to be in seventh gear before I go around this corner. Slight lift. Oh, I had to fe feather the pedal through there to make sure I get around the corner. Subsequently lost some speed. I gave it my best and 10 laps. My best was 231.9. Uh, I really didn't have a lot of consistency going on. Uh, gonna take probably a few more laps, but I'm not gonna give up. I will try again tomorrow and see if I can't get to that 131. One. And what did I end up? So my optimum could have been, if I uh, would have put all of my sectors together, would have been a 231.7. So that's my optimum lap uh, based on that session. Let's go to the ranking boards and see. I am 49th. Oh, sorry I had a hard time saying that, but wow. That is disappointing. So, yeah, I got some work to do for sure. If I want to race and compete, you're going to be starting uh, mid to the back of the pack at most races with that type of time. And uh, racing from that area is never fun. It's always a little bit more difficult because everybody's a little bit dirtier towards the middle and back, I find, anyway. So that's my, uh, my video. Thanks for joining me, and I hope you have a great day, evening, morning, wherever you are. Thank you.